everybody, I'm Ethan. I'm Ryan. This is the Magical Express. Where we bring the Disney magic to you. Well, we want to start by thanking all of you for watching our videos. And our comments are starting to fill up. And we have seen uh, a comment by one of our great subscribers asking us to talk a little bit more about the Disney Cruise Line. Something that we mentioned in our intro video we have lots of experience with. We sure do. And so we thought, what better way to use our knowledge than to share it with someone else. So that's what we're going to do today, is to talk just a little bit about our experiences and some things you should be on the lookout for. So here's our top five hidden gems on the Disney Cruise Line. So the first one on our list may not be a true hidden gem. Uh, it may not be that important to you, but it's really important to me. It sure um, is. This is the thing that I enjoy, ooh, other than maybe the ice cream on the top deck, about as much as any other perk on the Disney Cruise Line, and that is free room service. With an asterisk, because of course you do, or it is encouraged to leave a tip. Tipping is but great. Yes. Free room service. Free room service. So, if you're like me, bring some dollar bills, bring some ones with you. It's great to have those next to the bed. So when you're getting your cookies and milk at 2 in the morning, like some do, not me, but Of course some, not. For our friends. Our friends. Our for friends. our friends that do that, you've got some dollars there. Tip the staff. They're amazing. But free room service, hard to beat. Staying on theme, um, our next hidden gem um, has to deal with one of the restaurants there, uh, aboard the cruise ship. Now, normally, Palo is known for its excellent dinners mm -hmm. by reservation. Um, adults but, only. And it is adults 18 only, and 18 over. and older. But what a lot of people don't realize is on days at sea, they actually do an all-you-can-eat brunch service. Um, and it oh. is remarkable. Um, we highly recommend Paolo's brunch. And in some instances, I would probably recommend it. If you only had to choose between brunch and the dinner service, I'd go brunch um, the brunch is wonderful, um, and you want to make sure that you get that reservation early because though it is a hidden gem, those do fill up quickly. Now, our third hidden gem is not food related. So, I know we were on a great little train of we were really rolling one through five, but we got to stop. Uh, but much like room service, it is something in your stateroom, and that is actually the Disney movie catalog that is built in to your stateroom TV. Now, when I say Disney movie catalog, I'm not saying like, oh, some of the greats. It's like, oh, like Netflix, you search Disney, there's 10, 15 movies. No, I mean the full catalog. Everything in the vault is on there. Not only just the normal Disney animation, DCOM, Pixar, Marvel, everything you want. And that is something, I know you spent a good amount of money to enjoy the cruise, but whether it's at the very end of the night, whether you're coming in to rest during the day, it's pretty awesome having every Disney movie at your fingertips. In addition to the movies, you also have access to a lot of their shows on demand as well, which is really great. So if you're looking for a quick way to unwind and you're hanging out in the stateroom, definitely take advantage of that. Now, Walt Disney Company is known for their cast members being excellent. And though it might not be considered a hidden gem, I definitely recommend getting to know the cast members on the Disney Cruise Line. They really go above and beyond what, what their normal call of duty would be, to say the least, mm -hmm. on a cruise ship. They really go out of their way to get to know the guests, to get to know them on a personal level, find out where you're from, find out what you like. And the cool thing is, being on a cruise ship, you see them kind of everywhere you go, day in and day out. So build those relationships, look for ways to get to know them, um, and it'll just enhance your experience even more. Just like Disney is known for its great cast members, it's also known for its great theming. Uh, something you'll see at every attraction, every resort. And on the cruise, it's no different. But one of the best places to see incredible Disney theming is actually in the Kids Club. And so my last and final hidden gem are the open houses that are offered throughout the cruise. Um, for us who are not, you know, 10 and younger or a tween, you don't have access normally to a lot of these incredible clubs. Right. And when we started going on the cruises, I think there were only three kids clubs really there were right. two for kind of up to sixth grade and then they had the one for teens and as the years have gone by they just keep adding more and more clubs to really let every age demographic have a real special and targeted experience and with that the theming has just improved beyond measure um the toy story area i mean it's so hard to explain because there's so much and hopefully the, the pictures that are being shown here help, but that really transports you into these Disney movies 
that you always dreamed of being in as a kid. Absolutely. And for you parents out there, this is something we highly recommend you let your kids do. Um, our parents allowed us to go and experience mm -hmm. these things. And sometimes I feel like parents think, oh, we're on a family vacation. We've got to keep us all together all the time. Don't let that be the case. Let them go and explore these areas and really get to uh, be involved with, with what those clubs have to offer because uh, I can guarantee you they will talk about it for weeks after your trip. It will really be great for them. Yeah. When we were growing up, we would skip the nice fancy dinners because we would rather have chicken nuggets and mac and cheese in the kids club because of just how amazing it was as a kid. It, it's such an amazing opportunity to just have something made just for you. Mm -hmm. And so again, as adults, you might not get to go experience those, but it's definitely worth the time to check out those open houses and see what's offered for age groups outside of your own. Well, hopefully you enjoyed learning about some of these hidden gems. Maybe they're ones you knew about, maybe ones you hadn't heard before, uh, but we love talking about the Disney Cruise Line. When it comes to Disney as a whole, the cruise is something our family has always cherished. And again, we've been on many and there's a lot more to talk about. So if you have any Disney Cruise questions, feel free to put them in the comments below. We would love to talk about them, but there's so much stuff, sometimes it's hard to really wrap your head around all of it. It really is. So maybe this is just part one of a series. Mm -hmm. That'll depend on you guys and your reaction to this video. So as Ethan mentioned, if you like it, let us know and let us know those questions you might have. Feel free to like the video. Again, put your questions in the comments. If you haven't subscribed, why not? We're pretty nice guys. We like talking Disney, and hopefully you like listening to Disney. So, I'm Ethan. I'm Ryan. This is the Magical Express.